Fletch, and today I'll be talking about the Hero 8 Black, or the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, we're doing a review today, because um, I just got this uh, GoPro and I wanted to uh, also get it, because uh, I wanted to keep it within the uh, GoPro ecosystem that I have. Uh, as you can see from the front-facing camera, uh, it's a GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I'm currently using, uh, in the front-facing view, uh, which is the view that you see now, is the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now let's talk about a few things first, uh, about some of the new features. I think one of the most notable features uh, of the GoPro Hero 8 Black is... Uh, Hypersmooth uh, 2.0. Right, so that's a new version. And they've also included a hyper boost, which is, I think, interesting. Um, what I'll probably do a little bit later on in this ride is show you uh, the, qu the video quality side by side um, because they're both GoPros. Uh, they're both uh, the top end bits of uh, the GoPro heroes. And uh, I've, what I've done was I've set, I've set both of these uh, cameras at the same uh, resolution, same frame rate, and also uh, the various settings for auto balance and uh, and what have you. Sorry, I had to concentrate a little bit to get between this car's lane splitting. Yeah, so I, I've set both. Uh, the, the resolutions, the frame rates, the white balance, the ISOs, and uh, of course the uh, shutter speed, both exactly the same, so that you can actually see the quality from uh, both cameras. Now the GoPro Hero 8, uh, I know it's just been out a few months, uh, and when you talk about accessories, there isn't very much uh, that's out at the moment. I think one of the things why, another reason why I decided to get uh, the GoPro Hero 8 is because of the uh, various mods that they have. They call it mods, but actually what it is, is an additional casing with uh, specific attachments that you can put to it, right? One of which uh, is a shotgun mic, which I think is really good for uh, vlogging, uh, static, not in this particular setup. Um, and the other one, of course, is a flip-up screen, so then you can see yourself uh, as you do a vlog. Which I think is a, is a really good uh, advantage. Now, uh, they've redesigned the body, uh, um, and what I've discovered was that it's actually a little bit bigger than the GoPro Hero 5 or the 7. So none of the uh, attachments would fit, right? So if you have a casing, if you notice, uh, if you notice now, if I'll put it, uh, I'll change the viewpoint, and you can see that actually it doesn't really have a case, uh, unlike the previous ones. What, what it is is that they've incorporated the little uh, bits underneath. Uh, it's metal, it's not plastic or anything, and it's the, it's the regular attachments uh, GoPro attachment that you can fit into their various mounts. Uh, whereas in the past, uh, you just have the, the, the body and you literally have to put a, a, a casing like this and, and then you attach it to the GoPro mount, um, which is good and bad. Right? Uh, even without that casing, uh, the GoPro is still rated uh, as IPv7, so it's still waterproof. That hasn't changed. Um, and most notably as well, they don't have, uh, I, I think in, in redesigning it, 
they have decided not to uh, put in a, a lens cover. So what I did was I, I ordered online uh, a uh, tempered glass um, protector. Sorry, have to shift lens. Yeah, so that covers the lens in the front. So then there's protection because in the seven and the five, you actually have a lens protector in the front. Uh, so good and bad, right? The uh, GoPro Hero 7 uh, features uh, that they've added as well is I think they've added more frame rates at the higher resolutions of 4K. Uh, in the past, I think uh, if you wanted to do hyper smooth, you couldn't do it at uh, 4K. I think you had to do it at 2.7K or something like that. I'll probably I'll put a link in the description below uh, of the differences and also of the, the various specs uh, that we have the two cameras. So then you can actually compare uh, and see the difference. But that is notably one of the uh, things that they've added to uh, the GoPro. Uh, they've also added uh, more, well, I wouldn't say details, but uh, they, they've added more um, customization in, in the Pro Tunes uh, that you could do far, a little bit more than. Um, the GoPro Hero 7. Hmm, strange. Never encountered this kind of traffic in the morning. I hope that is not a sign of my journey today. Even though in, in the past, uh, in fact, most of the videos that I have published uh, recently, um, I've been using the uh, Insta360. And I find that the, the colors are not as good, even though just like uh, the GoPro Hero uh, series, they do have uh, their flat colors, or probably their version of a D-Log. Uh, and the uh, Insta360 has a D-Log as well. But I find that uh, when color correcting uh, in Final Cut Pro, that I would really have to do a little bit more to get the right balance, whereas out of the box, um, I would just have to tweak it a little bit for the GoPro, and the quality is so much better. I have to concentrate because I need to overtake. Right. Got pretty good weather today, a little bit uh, overcast. Uh, so it might look a little bit moody uh, in terms of visual. Now the GoPro Hero 8 Black um, has, from reviews anyway, uh, because I hadn't had a chance to, to test it out uh, in terms of the audio quality, uh, because I'm using the Lancy mount for uh, my GoPro Hero 7. Uh, so that I can do the setup and hook up the mic and, and do this particular vlog. So the audio is actually coming from my Hero 7. Um, but there are six mics, oh sorry, there are four mics. Uh, I'm confusing it between the GoPro Max. There's four mics uh, on the uh, GoPro Hero 8 blank. And, and, the, and I've seen the reviews and the, the quality seems pretty good out of camera. Uh, so I'm I'm really uh, interested to see how it would fare with uh, a microphone. So the microphone I'm using is the Rode Lavalier Plus. And obviously Rode has good quality uh, microphones. And I'm hoping that uh, for the 8, it will translate. I mean, I'm not saying that it, for the Hero 7, it was bad. Uh, but I realized that um, you've got three settings. And it's the same three settings of the Hero Black uh, 8. 
um, in which you can do uh, high, medium, low, which you do the post processing and actually gives you a separate track for the audio. Uh, but I think at high, the compression is too much and um, it just sounds too thinny. Uh, at low, uh, doesn't really do very much. Medium, um, not much of a difference either. So you have to do a lot of post processing. Uh, in your video editing software for the audio. Now we co I've covered a little bit of the cons, uh, so but let's let's talk about the pros. Uh, it's got the super wide view now available uh, at all resolutions, um, and even at um, the wide res the super wide resolution, you can still do it with hyper smooth on at 4K. The downside is that uh, super wide view will not work with hyper boost, uh, so that I consider is a con. Uh, another con, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the size would mean the size change would mean that none of your uh, casings would work right? because all the GoPro mount attachments would, uh, but not the casings. Right? So you have to go out and order a few more. Pro is that they have included a mod. I know a lot of uh, people are saying that ah, you know, we have to spend extra money, and it's not cheap to get those things. But I think it's innovative. That on top of all the microphones that you have, you have a shotgun microphone included. You can also get the uh, uh, flip-up screen and a few other mods as well. I'm sure uh, as they go along, and hopefully there are third-party uh, manufacturers out there that's going to be working on those. Uh, pretty soon. So then, at least you have uh, choices, right? And GoPro anyway has always a myriad of choices. Um, and the obvious pro here is that it's light, right? Uh, Maybe not as light as the Insta360, you don't get a 360 view, but uh, I think the, the, the best con is the, uh, the hyper smooth. And I've, I've probably later, uh, you'll probably be able to see in this video how well the hyper boost look, uh, works, but hyper smooth version 2, I tried it, uh, in which I attached it to like a, a GoPro selfie stick, and I took it, my, uh, my little dog for a walk. and. and Honestly, you know how dogs are, right? They're tugging you and they're running uh, around and stuff, and you're chasing them. And the stability of the footage, you know, it didn't look like uh, like one of those movies where all the uh, cameras are shaking and, and you end up throwing up and stuff. It was really very smooth. So I'm hoping that um, the hyper smooth and the hyper boost, and the reason why I put that, put on the hyper boost uh, works well, is because um, I'm mounting this GoPro the same as I would the 360. It's actually on a GoPro mount on a handlebar and a long rod extension. Um, whoa. Sorry. Traffic had an almost sudden stop. Um, yeah, and then obviously it's on a handlebar, so it's taking most of the vibrations. Uh, and hopefully the, the footage is still uh, stable and you don't see any kind of uh, vibrations or, 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 the, or the video quality isn't shaking. Um, I think one of the good things of uh, the GoPro mounting it in this way, um, or even using the GoPro, is that if you notice um, in my Insta360s, uh, videos, the uh, there's a little warping. Now I'm not sure whether it's because of the stitching, but the stitching should be top and bottom because that's how I mounted it with the top camera facing up, the bottom ca camera facing down. Uh, but unfortunately, you always see the two mirrors warping. So I'm not sure. Uh, I think when we look at the video, hopefully I don't see the warping of the mirrors. In this particular thing, I don't think you'll be able to see the mirrors in any case. I'm not sure, but super view, hopefully, yes. And then uh, further, view, uh, further view of uh, 
or further back to you, uh, myself, right? Uh, we'll be up close, like uh, initially when I mounted it on uh, my handlebar. Um, well, this is my impression anyway. I, I think a lot of it I, I would have to say in video uh, and then show you the difference between uh, the two, right? Uh, maybe I could do it now. You can just switch through, and then you can see on the left and on the right the quality between the two cameras uh, side by side. Okay, so I'm going to switch back. Now, I do hope that you like this video. Uh, it's not so much a, a review, maybe, as an overview. Uh, so if you do like this video, please leave a comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to click on the bell for further notifications. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I'm Fletch. And you have a good one.